Well, thanks for tuning in to BladeFit.com. We're getting ready to start ab day. Uh, it's super important. There's a whole bunch of parts of your abs. You have your uh, abdominus rectus in the middle, your transverse abdominus at the side. These are your serratus here. And then we have the obliques. And there's a lot of internal parts. Uh, you know, your ileus and your psoas, which actually combine to make the ileus psoas. They in internalize and connect the front uh, your abs actually back to your spinal cord. This is your core stabilization of your spine. Super important for injury prevention and also building functional muscles so you're able to push yourself in all other areas. So important, one of the main things that holds people back on their ab day is that they burn out their hip flexors first. So we're really gonna work into them. You know, 30 seconds, high knees, as high as you can. Alternate to the outside. Just really loosen it off. I'm not gonna do the whole 30 seconds. Just take you through a quick warm up. Go ahead and knees bent. Try to come to 90 degree. Lock your back leg out. Notice I'm on my toes. Point it forward. Get squared off to the front. Shoulders squared off to the front. 10 breaths. We do leg lock five in the back. Then you take, take it down. Two inches from the ground. Same thing. Five to 10 breaths. I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to a good connected yoga breaths. So it's both hands here. We're going to be leaning forward. Drawing that hip open for 10 breaths. Take it up, shake it out. You're going to repeat the other side. And then we're going to do a full sun salutation. Sped up, come to a good strong mount pose, leg blocked, glutes flexed, core is engaged with the breath. We sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. You can step or jump back into a push up position. The idea is about control. The elbows in, we lower it down, and we come into the most important core stretch of the day. Really, I like to come nice and high. My legs are locked. Most of the pressure is on the tops of my feet, so that my knees are off the ground, really arching into it. I'm going to look over my right shoulder, emphasizing, stretching this left hip. The key here is to suck your belly button towards your spine. On those nice deep inhales, it really stretches the iliopsoas. So As on the opposite side. A few breaths each time. We're going to tuck the toes, lifting the sit bones, coming into down dog. Do a nice slide back. We'll walk one heel to the ground at a time, stretching into, stretching into those hips. Turn your feet to the front, stretch down. A couple breaths in standing forward bend. Sweep the arms up. Your final posture. You're just going to come to a warrior one on that side. Back foot is grounded at a 45 degree angle. Uh, front knee pointed to the front. Hips to shoulders square out to the front. You're going to sit nice and deep over that front leg while the back leg is locked out. Reach nice and high from the sky. Lean back, square off your chest. So warrior one, 10 breaths. Make sure you breathe nice and deep. Make that mind muscle connection to your abs. It's so important that you uh, develop that connection to build the, the full extent of functional muscle. That concludes the warm-up. Repeat on the other side. Here we go. Good.